Hi all, um, I'm just driving to pick my kids up, go out for the day, um, but woke up as we all did to some really, really awful news. Um, our friend, Mikey Sutton, has passed away. Most of all, so sad because there's so many people in the world that are just horrible. Nothing happens to them. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to film this quick, and just you know, share my shock over Mikey's passing and absolute gutted for him because there was a man with the world at his feet. Did you ever did you ever see him did you ever see him not smiling? Do you remember that laugh? He chuckled, didn't he, when he spoke. That's something I that's, I woke up this morning, my alarm going off. And you know you're drowsy and if you are oh, I turn my phone on, I I look at a few memes and a few videos and that'll wake me up. But me I, I often fall back to sleep because I'm like I turned my phone on and the first thing I saw uh, on Twitter was from Sil. Sil Abdul posted that Mikey's passing. And I kind of rubbed my eyes together and was like, what, what am I reading? Am I, am I half asleep? Am I dreaming? Or, is this real? And I, I, I sat up in my bed and focused. And there it was. There it was. doesn't feel right getting on with my day. Mike is not. It's fucking it's a it's a it's a it's, a, it's gut wrenching, it's heart wrenching. I'm, and I, I my thoughts, prayers, love and everything to his family, his mum, Cora, his sisters, his family, his nieces, his nephews. You know, it's devastating. Devastating. Oh, oh, like every time I every time I think of his name, I hear his laugh. I'm hearing I'm hearing that <laughs> chuckle. You know, I, I always liked Mikey, and I always got on well with Mikey, and I always respected him. And, and um, I didn't realise until this morning just how happy he was all the time. Where he definitely didn't show that he weren't happy. And I never saw it. brings today into perspective a bit more, doesn't it? I mean, not like I have not had any fucking perspective moments in my life that I should already be well aware of, but this is another reminder. But me, I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm in the wrong lane, don't help. I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna try and make the most of every day, as I always should, but, when I'm with my kids today, I'm gonna to hug them a bit tighter. Gosh, this is a reminder, man. It's... Fuck me. Like that. Like that. Isn't it? It's fucking awful. And do you know what makes me makes me angry? God or whatever, whoever. Yeah, 
Mikey had his stroke five years ago. And he came back happy still. Uh, I don't remember if it was something I read or something, a conversation I had with Mikey, but I remember him saying that he, I think it was, I think it was, I think it was a DM, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure. And at the time, I, I just didn't ever expect this. He said to me, or he said, fuck, I wish I could remember. If I had time, I'd go back, I'd go back and check. Um, well, I will have time and I will go and check, but right this minute. That he, after his stroke, he had this um, impulse to write what he was thinking. Because he was obviously in... Um, some kind of rehabilitation and that's what got him right in and, and look at dream and outcome dream walker and 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 look look at look how look at the look at the success of his comics look what's happened he got unpublished they're coming out yeah they're out to the point where it's bills picked up for development for a TV series which I hope to God still happens for him and I'm gutted gutted that he's not gonna fucking see that realise and see that as he enter the screen you know he and his beloved Kate Valdez I say beloved because he he, he, he cared a lot for her respected her and cast her and, and drew you know envisioned her as the character for his if his comic I know how, how I know how proud he was of all of that. And it's so gutting, it's such a shame that he's not gonna see it. That is sick. What kind of sick fucking joke is that? But it's gotta continue. As um Zod writer would say, Joe, pause not stopped. This was, all this has got to be the pause not stop has got to be for Mikey's dream walk it's got to happen it's got to continue it's got, they've got to see it through for him and in some weird that's what I'm thinking while I'm driving some weird cosmic I'm angry now I'm frust frustrated at life it pisses me off it's some weird cosmic thing that God or, or whatever gave him that second chance, those extra five years, so he could get his idea out there for the world. And maybe, maybe they took him back because it was done. And if that's true, then why did they do it now? Why didn't they let him see it? It's fucking awful, man. Life is f fucking. It's it's. You take things for granted, don't you? I'm fucking. I'm I'm sad and angry at the same time. I just every time I think of his name, is is his voice, is his, his chuckle, is in my brain, and and like. You know, I, 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 I never met Mikey in person, but I've spoke to him a lot uh, over private messages. Um, he even interviewed me a couple of weeks ago about my career. <laughs> you know, he was a lovely man, lovely man, he, and, and he was busy. Eh? I mean, that man was a, a workhorse, if you know what that phrase means, it's just... He is strong and he just fucking, he was powering it through. He was living life, proper involved. And I defy anyone to find someone else who's as happy, or was as happy and, 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 and friendly. I mean, I never heard the man, I saw anything where he would, he would just respond. I do, I mean, Try not to respond and get pissed off at trolls, but I just like it didn't seem to do that. Just 
well, oh, well, people don't believe me, oh well, you know. And he just didn't care and he kind of just laughed it off and just carried on working. So anyway, I just, just wanted to do this video just to say out loud to somebody that well, I'm thinking while I'm driving and, and just to remind everybody that fuck me if this is another reminder to make the most of every day. never know. Could be me in a minute. Could be, I could turn this video off. Bang, wall, car, lorry, fucking something. Couldn't it? And that, I, I shouldn't probably say that, cursing myself, but. <sighs> Poor Mikey. Poor Mikey. I hope he didn't suffer. I hope he knows that we missed and loved by so many around the world. He did inspire people. I'm, 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 he's, he's comic, Dreamwalker. You know, his 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 blogging, his, his journalism, his, his website, everything. I mean, God, people who know him better than me will, will be able to attest to this better. But how can somebody come back from a stroke and? so active and prominent and, and busy as Mikey. He was, he was just on the go. I've known of people in the past who had strokes and they were never the same again. They never did much. They didn't risk anything. They didn't do anything. They just focused on their thing and they were so cautious about, well, they did became old, you know. I didn't know Mikey before, but it's just sad, man. It's just, it's just, it's shock, sad was there, but frustration and anger now. Why did they not let him stay longer so he could see the fruition of his of his stories on screen? got to continue. It's got to continue. Pause and pause to remember him. But don't stop. I'm sorry Joe that I'm stealing your book title. But oh my god if there was ever a fucking if there was ever a thing to say about this. I, I, I just anyway, I'm not gonna go on, it's not about me but thank you Mikey. Thank you for your politeness, your kindness. Thank you for your stories. Thank you, thank you for your um, just everything, mate. I mean, you you were an inspiration. Um, um, another reminder that we should just be happier in our lives get on with things no matter what you know talk about if there's ever a story of overcoming um what's the word not diversity um i can't think of words i'm sorry but i think mikey was unique going through what he went to to carry on and, and further himself and push himself out there in the world and create and create and leave a legacy and do it happily positively it's just fucking crap isn't it fucking crap so <coughs> love wishes everything to your family and friends Mikey thank you thank you for I always appreciate that you that you seem to like me and I appreciate that I appreciate the
the interest in my career. I appreciate you not being like a lot of other journalists, bloggers, who will follow a trend and just copy everybody else. You know, there's certain people that said bad things about me. You never did. And if you did, I didn't know about it. You certainly didn't show it. And that's, that's huge respect. Huge respect to someone who's who just does and says and acts how they believe and doesn't follow the pack. So thank you, Mikey. Thank you for my, my interview, thank you. The, I mean, I've, I've done interviews multiple times, but, you know, you, you know, it's, it was an honour. It's an honour to answer your questions. And it's a privilege that you're interested enough to ask them. So, rest in peace, buddy. Gutted we never met in person. And I'll fight for you.